The next company on stage, Free Me, from Germany, Alexander Zakharov. One, one. Sorry, wanted to apologize, first of all. I'm very hangover, sorry about that. Um, could you tell me how to switch it first? <laughs> this one? So this one forward and backward. All right. All right. All right. So I'll try to make it good. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alexander Zakharov. I'm one of the co-founders of Free Me. As I said before, I'm very hungover. I'm sorry about that. Um, due to the fact that this Congress touches some of the issues of sustainability, we thought that it would be a great opportunity for us to pitch our project here. So let's get to it. You guys probably realize how attached we became to technological inventions lately. Things like smartphones, computers, uh, tablets, and so on. So today we wanted to bring one big issue that we think is very important, and uh, it should be discussed. Did you know that approximately 21% of children under age of eight use smartphones daily? Just think about it. To me, this is crazy because I remember my childhood and it was full of fun and happiness, a lot of activities. We used to ride our bicycles, enjoy, and just have a face-to-face -face interactions. Um, what is happening now, the younger generations basically waste their best years of lives on things that are not real. They live a virtual life. So. But it's not only the kids who are affected, it's all of us whose lives are fully dependent on technology lately. Oh, okay, so from my personal experience, at some point I got really addicted to gaming and social media. Um, I didn't realize how much bad it did for me and uh, how much useful stuff I could have done during those hours that I've wasted on nothing. Um, okay, I start forgetting things now, I'm very sorry. Um, Okay, even though I wasn't raised with too much technology in my family, I still feel that my communication and social skills have been disrupted to a certain extent. So what our team has decided to do is try and fight this issue. Uh, we've created a platform that allows people to be up to date with different events and activities nearby them. Basically a geolocational social network. Um, what we do is simply provide information that can actually be useful in everyday planning and decision making. Um, in FreeMe, I'll be honest here, we don't use any, nothing uh, super innovational. However, uh, the best combination of different projects that we have combined during the years of development has given us some great feedback during our beta testing. Um, okay, so a little bit on the marketing side. Um, we have planned to attract very influential people um, to spread the good word about who we are and what we do. And our CMO, Montgomery, he's a Hollywood producer, uh, movie producer. So therefore, we have almost full access to the people who can help us uh, influencing the, word, uh, the world in a good way, in a positive way, and uh, bringing, bringing some people into active life. So in the end, I, after this horrible pitch, I'm really sorry. Um, I truly hope that people will hear what we say and uh, what we stand for. Um, and they will just join us and uh, realize that this can cause serious damage to the future of our society um, and that we should like really unite and be more active and engage more because virtuality, uh, virtual reality is becoming more and more popular and uh, well for us we like, we like old school interactions, we like one on one, we like face to face so join us, join Free Me and be amongst those who actually try to change the world to a better place thank you and I apologize once again Um, ju just one question. Um, I got it. The party yesterday was quite long and intense. But could you maybe sum up in one sentence what you're actually doing? Okay. So, all right, that's a good question. Uh, we're the new generation social network that allows users to be up to date with different events and activities nearby them. So we provide them with user-generated content that they can see is happening live right now, and uh, so that it can actually be useful for their planning and decision making, as I said before. And um, what can you monetize around that? If it's real time, right, no just problem. getting together. I think it's here. 
Um, so basically, uh, we've decided to do this. Uh, one of the things we think is pretty innovative is uh, we've decided to do a crowdfunding scheme for events. So uh, people will be able to pay through our system as well. And uh, there'll be uh, fixed price tickets, for example, for an event. So I'll give you an example. Let's say there's a party, house party, right? And somebody's organizing it. And um, a person doesn't want to collect the money by, by cash or something. So whoever wants to, he donates some money. And if he likes the party, he leaves a dollar. He leaves some dollars to two. And so uh, it, everybody benefits. And um, for places, we think it's very beneficial because it creates exposure, additional exposure. So uh, the hosts, they can actually fill their full capacity of the arenas or bars or pubs, wherever the event's taking place. That's what we think. And for people, obviously, as I said, because there is a lack of information, um, it's people lack uh, real information, live information that they can actually use that is valuable. How do you get the, the early traction on this? Sorry? How do you get the early traction on this? How traction? Do you get the first, yeah. yeah get um, first well, in the beginning, we just uh, started spreading the word in between the friends and uh, friends and friends. Um, afterwards, we just... Uh, um, I don't know, applied to some magazines, they, pu they published us, they said that we we're very promising and so on and so on. Um, but uh, later, like if you're talking about now, uh, we're planning, as I said before, uh, we're planning to connect very uh, influential people who can help us actually spread the word in Hollywood, uh, some actors, some uh, sports people, and uh, because we got, we got access there and uh, we, can, we can make it happen. Yeah. Sorry once again. Thank you.